So here we are. Here we are. This is Brooke. And this is Nikki. And this is Erica. And this is my so-called whatever. I always get like, oh, so when we do this, yeah. I pause on this one. Yeah. Because I'm like, what do we say when it's not the block party? <laughs> this is not the block party. <laughs> <laughs> What's the title of this one? Our friend Erica. Our friend Erica. Guys? Yeah. I get like the marquee. You, you do. Awesome. Well, yeah. Sweet. It's almost like you know Hollywood what? Nights. <laughs> it is, and they've heard us talk about you, oh. and you've heard us talk about you. I maybe. have. I think I'm on number four. Which one was that? It's a block party. That one was Michelle. Yes. Cool. I haven't finished it. New Kids on the Block. Because I stu- concerts experience, and then Brooke gave her version of the the positive experience. So I don't remember what, yeah. what I said. Uh, I'm sure it was. Yeah. Oh, it was we good. we do that. Yeah. We do that almost every episode. <laughs> what we talk about, we relive the episode. Do you want to hear my first new kids on the block? Yes. Experience. Oh. So okay. No, you guys are gonna laugh at this one. So, I think I was in like fourth grade, maybe. So my friend Jessie was at my house, and her mom used to babysit me. Okay. Okay. So she was at my house. And I was definitely into, like, Debbie Gibson and Tiffany. Right. And I had a Debbie Gibson poster on my wall from, like, Tiger Beat or something. And she, like, took it down and looked on the other side. And it was, like, New Kids on the Block (laughs) on the side on the wall. And she's like, why don't you have this? And I'm like, I don't know who those guys are. (laughs) And she's like, oh, my God, they're New Kids on the Block. And I had no idea who they were because I was... Obviously not very cool at that point in time. <laughs> How old were so, you? I don't know, fourth like fourth grade. grade? Yeah. So th- like nine or ten? Yeah. Fourth grade. F- probably not even fifth grade, because then I met Brooke in fifth grade, and I totally would have known right. who they were. So yeah. Third, fourth grade? Pro- no, fourth grade, because I think I was at Mary Snow, because we yeah. used to take the bus from her mom's house. Um, but I didn't listen to, like, we didn't have a lot of music going on in my house growing up. We didn't have MTV, like... We didn't have any of that stuff. You did So I wasn't, like, exposed to... Unless I went to, like, Jen's house or, like, right. one of your houses. But, yeah. We were all about the MTV. I was, like, behind. I didn't, I didn't remember that you didn't have MTV. Or not ca- for a Did long you not have time. cable? I think we did. Or did they, I, like, edit... I think we had, like, basic cable. Well, I think MTV was basic cable, but maybe was your it? parents, like... I probably wasn't allowed to like, watch it. Like, programmed it off. <laughs> Maybe I just didn't know about it because I was just so, Maybe. like, naive or something and uncool. I don't so, know. here's a question. Because a lot of the stuff that I learned about was from, like, my older cousins. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I didn't have any older influences. Right. That's what it was. Totally. So that's, that makes yeah. a big difference. And Nikki had her sister. Right. Um, yeah, and even, like, Jen down the street. Well, her sisters were a lot older, but, yeah, I didn't have anybody to, like say like this band's cool or this band's or like cool, even or... just like turn on channel 16 exactly because that's mtv exactly mm-hmm. it was channel 16 wasn't it it was i do remember that now um yeah so i was kind of behind on that stuff i'd go to your house brook to like that was my like pop culture outlet <laughs> it was, like, i kind of like that Brooke's room it was oh my gosh i remember like watching the party in your room. We've been TV. talking about the party. Because you a had bit your lately. own TV too. I didn't have my own TV. You had your own computer. I had to like, my mom was always on the phone at night and I'd have to like fight with that to like, <laughs> like get on the dial right, up. Get yeah. on the dial up. <laughs> yeah. Oh my so, gosh. So yeah, your room was like this sanctuary of pop culture. It was awesome. I kind of like that. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, it was fun. We did do a lot of stuff in my room. Yeah, your room was cool. Nikki recorded some songs in my room. Yeah. Oh my god. On the talk boy. On the talk boy. I didn't I don't know if I told you this, but Josh, Seth, his brother, yes. has a tape of me and you that we recorded when we were little. And somehow it ended up in Seth's possession. What? And Seth was in Portland and now he's brought it up. No, like really little. Like like probably when you were at my house little. Like oh my fifth goodness. grade little or How? younger. I have no idea, but so Josh has it now at his house, and he's gonna give it to me. That's like yeah. a VHS tape, you know, like like a cassette, a cassette of me and you. It must have been. Oh, was yeah. it you that used to do the jingles with me, where we would do like <laughs> your futures looking up? Did you used to do that with me? No, I have no idea. <laughs> Somebody I, did. I did. Never have mind. A tape that I, I think another tape that you and I had done. I found a few years ago. I don't know where. I wonder what we talked about. I don't know. 
I don't know, but I I will get it, and we'll you know what we'll have to do is we'll have to play it on your. Gosh, that would be so funny. That would be so. That's insane. Yeah. I, what is on that? Like, I who am I and talking about? How did it end about? up in, like, some random person? I mean, they're not random, but are, like... Well, well that possession. is kind of it's random. It's not like it ended up at, like, Brooke's My house. house. You know? It's just weird. That's so funny. Yeah. So, I'll get it, and we'll we'll share. I can't wait to hear it. So I wonder what it is. We'll just have to wait and see. Yeah. We'll have to find out. Well, it was just, like, yeah. my cousin. I have no idea what he's talking about. But he said that my name is somewhere in your house. Oh, I wonder if it's up in the shed. So we have this old shed that's like this two story. Like you could literally like live in it. It's you could remodel it into like. I just never remember being in there, but I I must have been. The whole upstairs, we used to play like courthouse, and we used to play like all kinds of stuff up there, and all like I know we heard nerds. All the neighbor (laughs) courthouse. (laughs) Okay, when everybody else was. He was usually the prosecutor, obviously. Obviously. He would always make Jen be the plaintiff. I mean, not the plaintiff, the defendant. And he would, like, rake her over the coals. It was oh my so God. Bad. He's so mean. He's so bad. I don't remember what I would be. Um, but, yeah, we'd play courthouse and other things up there. And, um, like, friend, and any friends, they would, like, sign their name on the wall. So we had, like, that a lot of people's, it. like, names on the walls and stuff. But, yeah. It's so funny. We had a lot of fun up there. So. I mean, what? Seriously. Like, we needed to play. Like, we were dorks. I used to play drugstore. <laughs> We'd hand out, like, pharmacy. Do you remember in third grade, another Josh story? Brooke was at Abe Lincoln, but at Fruit Street, we, like, the playground got flooded. And With, we did waterworks. Yes, I remember yes. that. Okay, so another dorky... <laughs> Like, dug channels through the yes. wood chips to try to yes. drain the playground. Yes. <laughs> like, yes. He calls it waterworks, and Josh is, like, the superintendent. He was, and he would tell us what to do. We would have jobs. We would come in, and he would let us know what we'd be working on that day. <laughs> and and I was all about it. I'm like, yeah. That is so fun. <laughs> it was really oh fun, but God. it's just funny. We I'm did like, a lot of stuff like that yeah. back then. He was like... Yeah, it was funny. We also had this big tree, and it was like our shipping warehouse in my backyard, and we had like, like we rigged up these pulleys and like <laughs> platforms. Like, <laughs> it was so weird. I don't know why. <laughs> we're like, oh, we're going to move this box. <laughs> like, but everybody, it was like we, we were like these little like corporate Doozers. minds you know what I mean like you're gonna be the HR guy right. you're gonna be the, <laughs> you're the CEO you're, oh. you know you're the maintenance guy like which is so funny that is uh, funny and it's kind of brilliant if you think about it well yeah we were smart kids I mean for sure but like when you said Fruit Street like that's where Sadie goes now yeah I, that's crazy and it's so funny to think like you had waterworks at the Fruit Street Playground, yeah. and now she plays on that playground. Yeah. Maybe in a couple years when she's in third grade, she'll have waterworks. <laughs> she might. I like Bangor. Me too. This is my this is my home. Me too. We're going to be the Golden Girls when we get older. Yep. You know? We'll just be in Bangor in the summer. Yep. Winters, Snowbirds. we'll be down in Miami. But No, they were Miami. Cause they were Miami. Miami, Miami, you've got style. Do you remember that song from one of the episodes? What? I don't know if they I do. They sang a song about Miami. Oh, yeah. they were so sweet. I know. Rest in You're peace. You're going to go to Arizona? Do you remember that, like, long duster coat that I had? Yes. Do you remember? I remember you showed up at, like, the ground Gagans round or something, or, or Gagans, <laughs> wearing that, and I'm like, okay. what these sport at? I was trying to be fashion forward <laughs> it did not work she Although, was definitely Dorothy's born out it was like this long like I don't know I buttoned up the front it had no sleeve it was <laughs> like a big long like vest that buttoned up and it was long and it I have one like, in my closet it was like kind of thin material like kind of creepy and I like I was trying to be like okay I'm sorry I was looking at the Us Weekly today at the hairdresser and there was yeah. like this spread of like Selena Gomez's outfits right some of this stuff I'm like how is this fashionable do you know what I mean it's right. just like hideous so it made me think of that <laughs> thing I wore I'm like I could not get away with that how is she getting sometimes away? you just gotta own it right oh, like well, those, I did not own it like apparently. those Baker slides I just bought from 1998 right I like the Steve Madden <laughs> yeah bottom. <laughs> She just got some. I just bought some on Macy's. Are you going to bring Mountain. them back? Oh, they bring are back. back. You're bringing them back. As far as I'm concerned. <laughs> they never left. They never left. And they're going to be Love fashionably it. on my feet and on the cruise. 
and I will show everybody. <laughs> hey, look at me. Well, I still wear boot cut jeans. I have skinny jeans, but I will never give up my boot cuts, and I don't care. And some girl that I'm Facebook friends with posted something about like. I don't like being seen with my friends who wear boot cuts. I'm like, you know what? And you know what? Well, like, she said something ignorant. You know what you can do? But you I'm can like, go find other you friends. You know what? Like, you're, women are supposed to lift each other up, not right. like bring them down. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? And it was the way she said it. It's That's like, what this podcast you know what? is all about. Like, exactly. Screw you. And I'm, like, I'm going to embrace my boot cuts. Like, like, what's wrong with boot cut jeans? Who knows? Like, like I have yeah. skinny jeans. I need to get some new boot cut jeans. But, like... There's a time and a place for both. I mean, really. Yeah, there is. But I just... I, I'm like, you know what? Like, that's just jerky. You know what I mean? Like, you that shouldn't be judging your friends or people by... Do you know why? What they wear here's, or... Here's the whole thing about people like that. People that talk that way are very self-conscious. I don't care who you are, but you want the attention taken off of you, and you want it put on somebody else. So, it just makes us look at those people and be like, wow, your life must really suck. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Sorry that it sucks so bad that you just can't be seen with people in bootcut jeans. I know. That's a crappy thing to say. Yeah. And it was more the way she kind of a weird said thing it. Say. And actually, a couple people mentioned it because they were like, you know, that's kind of, I don't know. Like, did, just did with you all, take like, it down? Just all the women's stuff. Was it you know, too controversial? On, it's like, just, I don't know. Support each other. Right. You know? Stop being bitches. Yeah. Like, to each other. Yeah. yeah, it's always. We wonder happen, why though. our younger, you know, the always. younger girls are so mean to each other. And it's like, well, you know, look at your parents. You know what I mean? It's usually right. you don't have to look far when you have kids that are not being nice to each other and look at their parents. That apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Yep. So, so should I talk about how I know you guys? Oh yeah, Would we should talk about that. Like to know that. So I have known Nikki since I was probably three, three-ish. So her nan used to babysit my brother and I. And I don't honestly have a lot of, like, I don't have a lot of memories from that time. Like, I know that we were friends. And I feel like I have memories of, like, maybe a birthday party, like, at McDonald's. But I don't have memories of, like, being at your nan's no. house. I only have memories Just of the like pictures. Just, like, pictures and stuff like that, yeah. Because we were really young. Yeah. And, you know, and I was thinking about this today, too. Back then, like... Kids didn't socialize like they do now. Like, Mm-mm. we didn't have play dates and stuff like that. Like, right. you had your friends at school and maybe, like, daycare friends and then, like, the people that maybe lived, like, on your street. But, I mean, at least younger. Like, as you got into fourth and fifth grade and started making, like, your own plans, you know, that changed. But, I mean, I was, you know, like, when our kids were young, young, like, preschool, kindergarten, first grade... We're taking them on play dates and doing this activity and that activity. Like, we didn't do that stuff. Like, I didn't have friends that I, like... Hung out with. Hung out with. Right. Like, th- that weren't neighbors. Do you know right. what I mean? So, it's just... It's so different now. Yeah, I don't really have a lot of memories. I have one memory. And I must have been, like, four. And we went to go see Annie. The play Annie. And mm-hmm. you were living on Maple Street. And it was the first time I was spending the night at somebody's house. Really? Yes. And so I went to your house, and I was so nervous, and immediately I wanted to go home. Aww. But I was so afraid that, like, if I went home, because my mom said, if you come home, they won't have you over again, and your dad assured me that if I wanted to go home, I could come <laughs> over again and stay and the I'm night. I'm never going to talk to you again. Right. But I think Did I, you leave? I, I can't remember, because I can remember staying at your house on Maple Street, because I can remember... <laughs> Taking the drawers out of the wall. No, that was Juniper. That was on Juniper Street. And climbing through the closet, like around. Yeah, that was Juniper. Yeah. You may have stayed at Maple too. I have like a vision of Maple Street. Like I have a vision of the room up there. Oh, but there was a little like nook under the attic in that room too. It wasn't the drawers. That was Maple. I mean, that was Juniper, but. There were um, like some hatches under the eaves, and you could crawl that in there must too. Have been so what that's probably what you're thinking of. Um, tangent, real quick. My first sleepover experience was awful. Yeah, I stayed at um, Michelle. I mean, she was a grade ahead of us, so I was second grade. She was third grade, <sighs> and she was having her birthday party sleepover. And um, all the girls were a year older than me, but her mom babysat for me, so I went. And like my mom pretty much made me go because I was so <clears throat> shy. Oh. <laughs> the girls were so mean to me. I feel like Je- was Jesse there? No, Jess- Jesse wouldn't have been mean to me, but she would. I don't think she was there. I remember <laughs> being there, 
And Aaron she, being wait, really mean. Yeah. 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 And they stole, like, I had, like, my little Abraham Lincoln bag. And I had my little sleeping bag. And I stuck it inside because I was, like, like just, like, I, I just was, like, a turtle. I want to, like, crawl up in my shell and, like, die. And my, my mom had bought me gum before I went. Like, this orange, bu- like, bubble yum, bubble gum. And I had it in my bag. And they got into my bag while I was sleeping and stole my gum. That's so I mean. know, isn't it? Like, I still have, like, so she works at the hospital, Erin, and every time I see her, I'm like... You still, like, give me back my gum. Give me my gum. <laughs> oh. And, like, she always smiles and, like, says hi. I'm like, I don't like you. <laughs> it's mean. amazing how, like, those little like, things that you remember and the people that would be just one moment that you just hold on to, and it just affects how you think of that person and you know and I know people change obviously and kids are mean when they're younger but but still and but and I never really had any interactions with her after that so I didn't right. have you know what I mean but um yeah it's Gosh. it's funny the things that we hold on to and we we remember so um but then Nikki you were in my first grade class mm-hmm. and in my third grade class and then middle school um, I don't were we in we weren't in classes together in middle school. We weren't? Mm-mm. We must have been in some. We weren't in any. Mm-mm. But we, we mixed, were like, like classes. Good, yeah, we were good friends. Because, like, like, we were, like, in all the pictures. You yeah. Remember, yes. year, like, <laughs> <laughs> people got mad. Oh. And then my senior year, I had, like, because you were a yearbook editor, weren't you? I was one of them, yeah. And there were pictures, and they were like, oh, it's a replay. Uh, <laughs> and I'm like, I didn't even do anything. Like, no, it's not it's a Erica's replay. Fault, because there were okay. a lot of pictures of Erica and I. I was the editor of the eighth grade yearbook. <laughs> I don't remember. I have the yearbook. Do and it still has to... Adam. You've got mail. Gum in it. <laughs> <laughs> Taped in there. He oh. wrote, here's my gum. <laughs> I remember that. Uh, we'll have to pull that out sometime. I'm just going to beep names. It's um, easier yeah, that way. Totally. Is it? Okay. Yeah, that's funny. I remember I got voted, like, in eighth grade, most preppy, and I didn't want it. I remember. I remember that picture. Uh, so I, like, well, I got, I had another one. But I like I like gave up the preppy title to Dana. Second place. She doesn't know oh, that though. She yeah. does now. There was. <laughs> so I'll tell you why I didn't want the preppy title because um, it was I think it was in sixth grade. It was after one of the dances, and Lance gets up on the bleachers in the gym. Everyone's going to McDonald's. No preps allowed. And I was at that McDonald's. Well, I knew I wasn't allowed at McDonald's because <laughs> I knew, looking down at my boat shoes in sixth grade, <laughs> that he was talking about me. You were Not at McDonald's me, but me because being that's one of them. The McDonald's when he pulled the plants out of I the remember thing. That. I remember chicken nuggets in the fan. Oh, jeez, I'm glad I wasn't there. Yep. I was like, we're going to get in so much trouble. We're going to get in so much trouble. I was like cleaning up, like, because I didn't want to get in trouble. <laughs> but I just remember, like, after dances, that Broadway McDonald's. Broadway McDonald's and like Friendlies. Yeah, we usually just go to their booth. Friendlies, like pe- I, those peanut butter oh cup gosh. sundaes. Those oh my are... god. Well, and so Nikki and I have been friends for a long time. Brooke and I met in fifth grade. Yep. And we were both in the same class, and we were instantly friends. Um, I used to spend a lot of time at Brooke's house. Brooke's house was like the bomb diggity. You did so Oh my god. My I loved her house. So Brooke had like a friggin' suite upstairs. So she had her bedroom that connected to a bathroom that connected to like a little like cool. alcove where her computer was and then it was the stairs down to her kitchen where I would go down and eat all of her Oreos. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh Erica's seriously. coming over. Hide the Oreos. Erica's coming over. Hide the Oreos. <laughs> Or, like, buy some extra. I would eat, like, a sleeve. Minimum. 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 Because, again, we had never had cookies at our house. So, (laughs) there was three of us at my house. If we had cookies, they would be, like, those fucking Vienna fingers that are so disgusting. I love Vienna fingers. Not when that's all you ever get. That's, that's like, Nutty Bars and friggin' oatmeal cream pies. I love Nutty Bars. I wanted some chocolate. Or would get the little fudge covered like the dipped little graham crackers we get that like for one week in one week we'd get one package for like five people and they'd be gone in a day and like just like dying and craving some (laughs) friggin chocolate or something i think that's why i eat so fast now we'd have like one pizza from tri-city and those pizzas aren't that big for like five people oh my god it was like who could eat the fastest to get the next to get the extra piece Oh my, gosh. oh my gosh. That's so funny. I know. 
so Brick's house was like, and it was just everything my house wasn't. It was just like freedom. It was MTV. It was music. It was just like, I don't know. I never really thought yeah. of it that way. Oh, yeah. It was, I don't know. Like, your parents just, like, left us alone. They pretty we much would, like, talk about boys and go on the internet and... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Not oh. even the internet at that point. It was just, like, chatting. Like, right. instant messenger and stuff. Um, and, I don't know. It was just fun. It was good times. Do you remember in fifth grade... Every other Friday night, switching off. Did we? And you'd stay at my house, and then the next Friday, I'd stay at your house. Well, we'd always watch TJF. We would always watch TJF, and we would try to stay awake through the whole thing, and we would usually fall asleep. I think you fell asleep first. Probably. Um, But we'd always watch, like, Full House, Mm -hmm. because I was on at eight, so we could get that one out. (laughs) And then what, Family Matters. Yeah. Oh, my God. (laughs) That's a memory. I I, Like, I always remember. Mm. Fifth grade, like, that's what we did. That was every Friday night. And if we couldn't do a Friday night, it threw things off. So, yeah, oh, I think it was middle grade? school that we all yeah. were connected. And then I kind of, like, grew apart from you guys for a couple years in high school, but then we reconnected back. I don't know that we did, though. Mm-mm. Not grew apart too much, but... You and I were close. Yeah. But I had my own... Like, I went basketball. And Voldemort. It was yeah, Voldemort. we won't talk about that. Voldemort. <laughs> we'll clue you in. Okay. Um... <laughs> Because oh I was always with you know. until basketball season. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then we come, and then like March would happen, and then we were right back at it. And then November would come, and I'd be gone. Right. And Darcy <laughs> would always say, Oh, Nikki's, Nikki's disappearing from the world. It's about that time. I can remember her saying that. It's almost November. <laughs> it's about that time. Well, there I hung out a lot with like Holly and Katie for a while. I think like the beginning of high school. And then. Maybe the, f- maybe like freshman year, yeah. but I remember freshman year, okay, I have a picture. I wish I had it in digital form of us Christmas day at your house, freshman year of high school. Oh, really? Yep. And I don't, like clearly we weren't, our families weren't doing anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we weren't and, dining together. Right. And I came over to your house and I have a picture of like you and a sombrero. <laughs> Obviously, it's Christmas. I right. Mean, why not? Who wouldn't wear a sombrero? Yeah. I was wearing like your, like one of your sweatshirts and sunglasses. <laughs> We're so weird. Like, it was a weird picture. <laughs> I think you had on like the B t shirt. Oh, okay. And That's funny. I need to find this picture. Yes, you do. That's funny. But, <clears throat> but that was like Christmas Day. That was freshman year. But then when we got our licenses, all hell broke loose. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh my God. Too much fun. So, on one of your podcasts, you guys were talking about, like, driving to Boston. You and I drove to Boston one night. Yeah, we did. Yeah. I, I, we went for dinner. And yeah. where did we end up? Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Which we have down the street. <laughs> you, did you work there at the time? I think probably. Because, like, that was that foolish. Was, it was funny. Oh, my God. I don't even know why. Like, we just randomly, let's go to Boston. Oh, my God. And we drove down there, just like you and I did that time. We drove down there, yeah. ate dinner, left. Drove back. Oh, my God. Um, so other fun memories I have are us, like, after high school, like, at your various apartments. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So much fun. Cumberland Street. I don't even remember. No. Because. Cumberland Street. A lot of them probably um, involve some alcohol. Spring Street. I when just... Nikki thought the place was haunted. Oh. Spring Street was haunted. <laughs> Erica. I did not Who go there Darcy? very often. Darcy's closet. And me. I think it's cool. That, that, we've that talked house, about Spring Street. Right, yeah. and I noped right out of there quick. The first time I went up there, and Darcy's like, come in my room. And I was like, nope. <laughs> I noped out of there. <laughs> nope. Because Dar- even Darcy will say, like, there, there's some weird, and she's usually not one yeah, to, like, yeah. say that. Right. But, like, she heard footsteps up the stairs, and I... And you guys anything. didn't tell me anything. Yeah, because I feel like no, you, like, that was came after. right in right. you were I, like, I was like, this is when we first moved here. I was like, I, I didn't want to scare you, but I'm like, I don't really, this is, no. I can't do that anymore. When we but. first moved in, you said that. And we were like, nee. oh, okay. But then, like, shit happened. The broom. Yeah. Okay, what happened with the broom? I feel like. That okay, so we've told the story in the podcast. You'll okay, hear sorry. it. Bye. Quickly. Remember when you walked in the hallway and go into the kitchen? Mm-hmm. It was like a door. And I was like not here for any of this yeah. stuff. No, this is just me and Darcy. Yeah. We 
while we were cleaning, I, I don't know if we had just moved in or we were moving out. I think we were just moved in. Um, and we were cleaning in the, in the corner of the hallway by the kitchen door was the mop and the broom. And they were like, handles were next to each other, like propped up in the corner. Mm-hmm. And we were walking down the hall to go into the kitchen and they both slid like, f- like fell across the door, but they didn't fall to the ground. They fell. So it was like crisscross across the door. So we couldn't walk into the kitchen. That's really bizarre. And it was just like held there by nothing. Essentially. No, but it was like Darcy's closet. Yeah, that's what I'm remembering and then I was thinking, about Darcy's closet. Or did you not know anything was up till Nikki said it? I don't remember. I just remember going in Darcy's closet and being like... I remember that very specifically. I don't remember the circumstances around it. I just, like, walked right into Darcy's room and went right into her closet. And I was like, what? I don't know. But I remember... And that's... It's never... had a very quick reaction. It's never... I've never done that again. Like, not like that. Yeah. It was that strong. That was like... I I never stayed the night there. And you asked me to multiple times. No, I would... I never stayed the night there. Nope. I don't think I ever stayed the night there either. Nope. I didn't like your apartment on the corner of Essex Street either. Really? Mm-mm. I never said anything because I didn't want to yeah, scare you. You were kind of living by yourself, I think. Yeah, I was. <laughs> I guess I'm glad you didn't. <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't like it at all. Because I can remember us sitting on the couch. It was right when I'd met Kevin. And I came and I was telling you guys about how I'd met Kevin. Mm-hmm. And I felt sick. Really? Like, I wanted to really? get out. Yes. I remember telling you when we left. But really? I didn't want to scare her because she was living by herself. I thought... I, Right? You yeah. were. Yeah. yeah, I was. It was Heidi's apartment, That's and she right. was in Europe for the semester, so I was, or Australia. Or I something. didn't like right. it. Yeah. And so I was like, don't say anything to Erica, but I don't like that. I don't like her that apartment. Was weird. I liked that apartment. Yeah. I thought it was cute. I liked it. It was super cute. Yeah. But I mean, you just got a vibe. Your Spring Street one was super cute, but. Mm. Oh, I think yeah. Spring Street was super cute. I liked it. Remember the ceilings? Remember how low the ceilings were? I don't remember. I remember being at hotter than hell one day. I was up there. Because it was there. an attic. That's true. Oh my yeah. God. Well, I mine was on the second floor on the corner of Essex and Stillwater. And the guy that lived downstairs would always come up and yell at me. Like, anytime I'd have anybody. I could literally have one person there. And, like, walk up the stairs. And he's like, because his, like, wife, would, like, worked nights or something and was sleeping during the Don't like, live in an apartment. Yeah. Like, I'm sorry. Right. You know what or I mean? Or live in the top like, floor Like, he apartment. seriously right. came over one day. And it was, like, me and one other person there. Like, literally, we had just, like, walked up the stairs. Oh, my God. Yeah. Dick. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> you guys had that cool. You guys, have, I'm probably reiterating things you've already talked about. But your Columbia uh, Street apartment was cool. With the brick walls. I liked yeah. it, but that one, you had an experience there, too. I don't think we've ever talked about it. What, the person? Yes. With Ed the Zimmerman? Window? What? what? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Oh. And when I inter- like when I did that internship, and he was like, I think she still has one of my CDs. I can't remember what it was. Do you remember? Speaking of CDs, Darcy, do you still have cords? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to like beep 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 beep. <laughs> so no, the one when we lived there, person in the window. What? Yes. Is, the the what? Wait. Did you not tell else? me about that? Okay. No, I've told you about well, that. Well, you told me you guys were on a ground level. We were on like we were like like the low basement. Ground level. Yeah, it was like you half never told half. me about that. But the that. windows were like full size windows. They were like yeah. six foot windows, and they went all the way foot. up. Right. But you couldn't like. But they were on the sidewalk. Right. Yeah. So. So if part you, of the apartment was underground. Right. The rest was above. And it always smelled like garlic. <laughs> yeah, it smelled like curry. <laughs> That's what it was. Curry. Sorry. It smelled like curry. Yes. Because of the restaurant. But the person that, uh, like the person that you thought I com- came home late from work and walked yes. in. Yes. And then I did come home from work and you were like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And you yeah. freaked out and you told me you, you're not, I can't tell you. I can't tell you. And I was like, no, you have to tell me what. And you were like, um. Like, I thought you were already There's home. somebody in your room. Like, I thought you were already home. That was freaky. Oh, that was freaky. That was freaky. I think we've. Now I think we did, but I didn't get a weird. I was scared to leave. I didn't get a weird car. feeling about that no. place. Oh, Aww. airport people. That was fun times, too. So I worked at the airport for like a hot minute. Oh, that's Nikki. right. Yeah, I remember we both went. At baggage yeah. service. We went down to LaGuardia, right? Yes, and. We both went down for, like, drug testing, and they failed me. <laughs> they failed you on your drug test? Yes, because I was taking Xenadrin, 
to lose weight. Oh, no. Well, so I worked there for, like, um, about a week because I got hired and went through the training, and they had never told me, like, what my schedule was going to be. And then they're like, oh, your schedule, we're going to give you eight hours a week, and you're going to work seven to 11 or seven to noon, like, ten hours a week every Saturday and Sunday. And I'm in college, and I'm like, okay, A... Hell no. <laughs> and B, hell no. Like, 10 hours, first of all. Wasting right. my time. 8 to that's 10 what, hours a week. That's what, we were under, like, that's what we were under the escalator. Yes. Yes. <laughs> that's where it was. And Saturday and Sunday mornings every week. You know, it'd be one thing to, like, rotate through a weekend. Oh, I worked every Saturday. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm sorry. I'm not going to waste my time. I loved it. Well, I, I had a social life that I needed to maintain, so that was definitely going <laughs> to like, interfere. Peace out. Peace out. But Erica's peace never... Peace out, I don't get home until Saturday morning at 2 a.m., 3 a.m. <laughs> I can't get back up. But Erica was never... She, You never had any qualms about, like, piecing out from a job. <laughs> no, I didn't. I've been like that. I had so many <laughs> jobs that I was just like, eh, done. <laughs> but it's really funny because now, as an adult, I have stayed with the same employer for 11 right. years. Well, now right. you know. Yeah. Well, and and now it would be, like, feel so horrible about just being like, eh, I'm just not going to go back. <laughs> So, like, but that's quality. what happens when you grow up. Yes, that happens like, when you mature. Right. Yeah, but I would totally be like, yeah. Part of my thing was is that I hated to let people down and say no to people. Mm-hmm. So I, the thought of giving my notice gave me such severe anxiety right. that it was more, it was easier to just like not go back and just like avoid it. Right. You know what I mean? Because I'd be like, Ugh. you know, um, which is, is so stupid, but. I don't know, that's how my thought process, I guess, at the time worked when I was... She you grew know, yeah. When you were, like... 19. Exactly. 18, you teenager, know I mean? 20 years old yeah. or whatever. Like, it, yeah. And, and you know, now I've stayed with the same company. I mean, I've had <laughs> different positions within it, but, you know. Right. Um, so, yeah, it's funny. But, um, yeah, you guys had fun apartments. That was always a good time. Um, we did have some fun apartments. No. Yeah. And, yeah, and no, it just... Didn't. We could I don't just remember. Go there and let, I don't know. I just felt like we could like let loose and I don't know. Just kind of an, it was always in, like being with you guys was always like an escape for me. Aww. It was. It was. You Aww. know, it was good times. Was it just e- be me and be silly and like like the best thing about Nikki and Brooke is like never they they're not judgy. No, like, I could tell Brooke and Nikki anything and they'd be like, cool, cool. You know, <laughs> who do you? Um, but yeah, like. <laughs> The friends that I have, I feel like the things that they do are not going to affect what I think of them because I... Exactly. You know what I mean? I know them. I know who they are, you know, and I know people make mistakes. I, I do I do dumb things. And I hope that my friends still yeah. love me regardless. And I know that they do. And that's how I feel about, you know, my friends and these guys here. And, you know. Aw. Yeah. We cannot talk for weeks. Weeks. Months even. Mm-hmm. And... Like, that doesn't matter. Yeah. Because, like, like, you could pick up the phone and call me and be like, I need you. Exactly. And, mm-hmm. like, I'm there. And we start, like, there's not, like, awkwardness. Like, oh, how are you? What are you I hate that. To? Like, small talk. There's never any of that, like, when I see you guys. Like, I mean, yeah, we went some years, like, maybe seeing each other, like, once a year. And, like, talking and stuff like that, like, here and there. But, but it was never, like awkward having to like catch back up no you know? god no and i mean i i definitely have some friends that i lost touch with and then you run into them again and it's like not Meet the room. same yeah exactly. and it's like okay well i guess i've outgrown this friendship you know right and so yeah i mean and i don't know that i mean part of it's that we've known each other for so long but i have other friends that i've known just as long and it's not like, it's that. Not like that. do you know what i mean mm-hmm. yeah. so i think we just i don't know you guys know, like, most of my deepest and darkest, and I know most... You know what I mean? Yep. Like, we know, like, the crap about each other. Yep. So that makes... The, I don't know. That just brings you to, a, like, different level of, like, intimacy. And I use the word intimacy, not <laughs> intimacy. <laughs> but, like, <laughs> vulnerability. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, we just... Some of the silly crap that we've done and just, you know, have been yep. through together. I don't know. Term. I'm going to use that. Remember uh, our duet? Oh, my God. Should I sing it? So the the song Closer to Fine, Brooke and I used to sing in the car and like just randomly like one day we were in the car and started singing it and like one of us took the like high <laughs> took the, 
one of us oh my God. took the low and we harmonized without even trying. We're like, we're awesome. We're like, we sound amazing. Yeah. So what do we do? <laughs> we recorded it. <laughs> do you still have it? But, no, you guys, the funniest thing, and this just shows like how like awesomely nerdy we were, that they talked about that song on The Office. And I was like, I think I like called you or texted you or something. And I'm, I'm sure. like, I don't, I just thought it was so cool. So every time and I they hear talked that song, about I think like you guys harmonizing or something. Because I think you played it for me. You were like, listen to this. Like, <laughs> we probably listen did. to these beats we just we laid were in down. Your family these realm. beats we just dropped. <laughs> you were in your these family realm. Folk and beats. <laughs> I feel like your brother was there. Oh, probably. Was it the day he threw a dictionary at my face? <laughs> or was it the day he was chasing you with scissors? Erica. That sounds more like it. No, we... So, I just what? had a thought. What? Like a random memory thought. What? I may or may not have mentioned this to you. Do you remember in high school, I don't remember what we were listening to or what song it was specifically, but it was definitely <laughs> Dave Matthews. Was it it was definitely like eight of us in your bedroom. Were you guys all having like like a listening session? And we were lolling on the floor and we listened to it through the lights off. Yeah, you wanted to. Because it was so beautiful. I know what song it was. <laughs> what song was it? <laughs> what song was it? It's Lover Lady. <laughs> I was thinking about Patty. <laughs> I do remember. Like, I remember, uh, like, there was there was probably, like, two carloads <laughs> of girls. And probably fucking Tim and <laughs> It's probably, like, I Tim, Molly, Lee. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just guessing some of the people. I'm guessing Erica. You've got mail. <laughs> probably there. So, I was with Jen <laughs> one night. Mm-hmm. And we were going to Bumstock. And I was staying at your house that night. Was well, that the think... night you met that girl? <laughs> it might have been. Was this the night that she peed on the peeing lot in it... front of the that those guys playing basketball? I think so, because she was wasted. On screwdrivers. Yes. Yeah, exactly. I and but I okay, I couldn't remember if you were there or if I was going to your house to meet you there. But she got wasted like in still in the daylight. I mean and we were like what, sophomores or juniors? We weren't that yeah. old. Too young to be doing that. Uh, and yeah. Like so, she like right after school started drinking, and was wicked drunk. So I drove her car for her up there, and then I drove it back. But I was supposed to stay at your house that night, and my parents would have killed me if I had like not been where I was supposed to be. Right. So Jen wanted and wanted me to drive her back to her house, but I was like, I have to stay at Brooke. So like I let her drive home, and I still feel bad about that because she was drunk. I and I think she reminded me of that like several years. I think I for several that. years. Yeah, N- like, like I, you made me drive home. Well, yeah, shitty friend. Like I Where was don't Uber when we needed it. Remember, like I didn't remember that. I remember, like I'm remembering it now that you're saying mm-hmm. yeah. But I'm like, I do remember yeah, that. my parents oh my would have killed me. Oh my god, they they wanted to kill me all the time. Like I was always like sneaking like, back why in after just, parties like, and stuff. Go in and say to my parents, like this is what happened. Can you give her a ride home? I know your parents would have been cool about it. My parents would have like, but why didn't I say that? Like I don't bricks. know. I don't know. Like they would have been okay with it because I also like the first time I ever like smelled pot. Mm-hmm. Like I went home and told my parents I was yeah. at a party and there was pot there and it reminded me of my childhood. <laughs> You just threw that in there to guilt your parents so they wouldn't get mad at you. Well, I rem- and then my mom got mad at my dad and said, I told you they'd remember. <laughs> I told you one day they'd oh remember. My because my dad used to smoke pot. Like, it, he was Is like... That, should we take this off? I think that's fine. Okay. Yeah. It's legal now. Yeah, that's funny. I mean... I just want to make sure. Like, yeah. I don't know how much of this, like, we sh- Yeah, no. I think that... I kind of remember that now. Yeah. But I remember that night. I remember that day. Like... Like it was yesterday, and that's what I met. I met the friend. And I never heard that story before. I never heard you tell that story. I have no idea who she was. That's amazing. Met a girl in the ditch that night. I that wonder if she's stock? okay. Was that that night, or was it a different bum stock? You, it might have been a different bum stock. It could have been a different bum stock. I don't I never recall. went to bum stock. Mm-hmm. That wouldn't have been your scene. <laughs> no, definitely not. That would not have been your scene. Uh-huh. It really was barely my scene. <laughs> could it you was imagine barely me my there? Scene there were cute boys there. Yeah. No, it was, yeah, I mean, it was okay. I don't like fish. Nope. And that's okay. Nope, I do not. I put my foot down on that shoe. I'm not yeah, wearing it. Yeah, you did. Yeah. 
And I just didn't. I just didn't like it. It just wasn't my thing. Right. Which is fine. And that's fine. But I just felt like, I think something happened. And maybe it was that whole thing that I talked about. And like, they were all supposed to be my friends. And like, not one person was like, no, it wasn't Nikki. It was so-and-so. Not one person did. Not one person. Not one of my friends did. And it just, it really affected me. I was like, these people are not my friends. Like, I thought all these people were my friends, and they are not my friends. And I can remember Sarah being so upset at me <clears throat> and just, like, telling her, I did not do anything. I had nothing to do with that. But didn't she... I don't remember. Because we were really close for right. a really long period of time. Didn't she end up... Because, like, what? Did everybody just take word for it? Yeah. Her? And I never was friends with her again. I seriously did not ever... We were never friends again because she was so upset at me and she would and I think that that was the biggest thing that she was so disappointed in me that I would do that and so she told her sister you know because she she felt like there, yeah there was something with her sister mm-hmm. with that yeah was her sister there maybe I don't remember if her sister was there or if she told her but the sister. whole story was that what's her name had the alcohol yep and was took it from me and was putting it back oh oh and that I had taken it out of the cabinet. But in actuality, she just I had, had it. And I had no... I, I was just there for... <laughs> I mean, come on, really. Let's just be yeah, honest. I mean, right. you didn't, like, drink stuff in high school. Never. Though. No. no. I mean, yeah. I would... I went through a little bit of a rebellious phase, with, but with, like, I, eczema, maybe. Or, like, not even. Not, well, I'll tell you, the first time I drank was... Um, I was, like, very anti-drinking, anti-drugs. It was the Catholic guilt that I was raised on. <laughs> Like, freshman year, sophomore year, a lot of, like, my friends and, like, guy friends started, like, drinking and smoking pot. And, like, I wasn't getting invited places like I used to. And I'm like, wait a second. <laughs> right. Um, so, and I was like, oh, Erica's approved, blah, blah, blah. You know. Anyway, I didn't really, I was kind of like, you know, whatever. But then there was this group of older guys and girls, too, but mostly guys that would hang out, um in the outfield out like past Hayford Park during baseball games mm. and the lights would be on at Hayford but it, there were some trees past there but be, the way the light shone you couldn't see them out there um and I can't remember what they called it um but they would go out there and drink beer with the, while the lights were on during baseball games and it was like Pat and yeah all of those guys and Jen would go because of Scott but I forgot about Jen we were so close with our freshman year yeah She's a good person. She's so, oh my God, she was so funny. She used to drive her little Wayne's World car backwards from her house to my house. <laughs> She's so which weird. involved crossing a major <laughs> interse- intersection. She would back out of her driveway and drive in reverse all the way down to my house. So um, they would go out and drink there. So I went out to drink there. Um, one night, and I think I had like two like natty lights or something stupid like that. And then we went to McDonald's after, and and Pat was there, and Jen and Scott and a couple other people, and I was just like in heaven. I was like, I finally made it. I finally climbed to the top of the social ladder. So can I tell you my worst memory from high school? Yes. So like I had a good experience, but there was a time like I think it was around maybe it was junior year that I really decided I did not like. And you know this group, like John, Gus, Roger, yes. that whole group. They just were cocky, and they were, and most of them were in my locker section, and I just thought yeah, they, they were like jerky. And so I didn't really hide the fact that I didn't like them. Um, and maybe it was towards senior year, too. So that was kind of separate. And I can't remember if that was before. I think it was all intermixed, but um, Griffin and I were pretty decent friends. You yeah. know, we, we weren't like BFFs, but we were... We were good friends. We were at my house. It was like, it was a bunch of people. And Griffin told us all that had been in the hospital. Yeah. He hadn't like been like, oh, don't say anything to anybody, you know, whatever. So a while later, I mean, Allison was out of school and everybody kind of knew like what was going on. Yeah. And I was in like English class and I said, who was a bitch anyway. Yeah. I was like, how is doing? And she's like, oh my God. What do you mean? What do you know? Blah, 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 blah. And I was just like, how, you know, how is she? You weren't like, spreading rumors. Yeah. And, um, so 
I don't remember if I told her that Griffin told me or whatever. Lisa went back to Kara, and then Kara got mad at Griffin for telling people. And then Griffin, like, literally lit into me. I mean, I was... I remember this. Crying. Like, mm-hmm. I left... I, I went home <clears throat> crying. I remember being at Jen... <clears throat> crying. And then my mom telling me, because my mom was so nice to me. You've got mail. Said you need medication. Like, Mom, like, you know, because I was like hysterically crying. You know what? Because I just got like, it's embarrassing. Right. Do you know what I mean? By somebody right. that was supposed to be your friend over something that he got, he got mad at me because he got in trouble for saying something he wasn't supposed to. Exactly. By his sister. So, and Griffin and I never were friends again after that. And then it kind of even worsened like my relationship with like John and those guys. Yeah. Which was fine or whatever. But, um, that was, like, awful. And, you know, thinking back, I was a <laughs> emotional wreck senior year. I don't know why. Like, I remember being in tears a lot at school. I don't know why. Like, that... You I, had there, a lot of responsibility. Well, and I think, like, I had a really good high school experience and, like, graduating, like, leaving high school, going to college, that was hard for me. Um... Like, I almost kind of, like, grieved it. You know what I mean? Because I did right. have a really good childhood. And, like, right. that unknown and, and the anxiety I had anyway. And not knowing where I wanted to be and what I wanted to do. And having, not having that, I think my, fr- because I didn't have, like, a really, like, supportive, like, home. Mm-hmm. And I didn't have, like, a close family unit. My friends were, like, really, really important to me. Yeah. Those friendships. That was, like, my family. So it was almost, like, that loss of that. You know right. what I mean? So, um... And probably, like, fear of the unknown. Oh, yeah, totally. Because, like, all through school, like, this is how it's been. Yeah, it's predictable. You know right. the next step. Yeah, for sure. But God, I remember, like, being going to the principal. Oh, I hated Mr. <laughs> he was awful. He would, like, everyone just <laughs> class all the time. He'd let Caleb... I loved that. <laughs> okay, yeah, but he... Okay, let me tell you why I didn't he like me, him. He let me go to Dunkin' Donuts. Okay. He let us go to Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah. So, you were my, he you were did my not class. like me because I would do other work in his class... Because, no, we weren't doing anything. But he'd be mad if I would be, like, working on an assignment. But he'd let <laughs> Eric and Caleb go to Dunkin' Donuts. Well, they're <laughs> Dunkin' Donuts. Why can't I work on my English assignment this student experience? He did not like me. So I remember, um, <laughs> like, going in tears to the vice principal. And I think I might have said, he lets people go to Dunkin' Donuts. Because I was so mad. Because yeah. he was such a dick to me. How dare you do work? How dare you do work in my class? I know. Well, these people take orders for Dunkin' Donuts and, like, collect all the cash. Seriously. That's what we used to do. <laughs> and then we'd come back yeah. and we'd watch... What's that called? I got A's and B's in that class. How I would did you? Too. I did, too. What did, we, what did we watch? What was the show that we'd watch? South Park. Seriously. What an ass. I was just, like... He just played favorites, I felt like. And I obviously wasn't one of them. I was, like, on the verge of, like getting a C in physics. Yeah. Like, I needed physics. to, like, get a... <laughs> Guess what I took? You didn't take physics? Work study. That's what I took. You didn't take physics? Oh, I worked... <laughs> off. Freshman, sophomore, junior, so I could just... <laughs> my senior year. Senior, we both took work study. Yep. Yeah. I, I have dreams to this day. I like, 11, 15. How did I not get into I work? have dreams to this work day study. that I am not going to graduate. Because, like, something messed okay, up. Okay, I have dreams, too, that I've forgotten about a class yes. all semester. I haven't gone. Oh, and, my God. Yeah, do you too? I do, too. No way. What is it? We need to figure okay. out what this... Can I just tell you, this is, like, a recurring... Oh, yeah, yeah me people too. have this dream. Yeah, yes. it's recurring for me. That, like, it's multiple classes that I haven't mm-hmm. gone to, and... Like, I'm not caught up. Like, there's, like, yes. English, and there's, like, a science class of yep. some kind, and I don't even know what kind it is, because I don't go. Right. But, like, I know that I have to go. Mm-hmm. Or you haven't done the assignment, or you haven't been, and it's the end of the semester. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, I need credit for this thing. class. Yeah. And it's, like, so vivid. Yeah. I wish I wouldn't have gone to Davis okay. Girls so Let's much. see if any of your, if any of the listeners are dream interpreters. Can you help us with this? Like, what well, does that they mean? actually already talked about that in the group. They? they talked about this whole... Yeah. About, about this dream? Really? Yep. This missing like, assignments? Missing, not graduating. Oh. What does it mean, though? I don't know. Huh. I want to know. Um, so, so um, but I remember with... You've got mail. He told me I, he, he would give me some extra help. But he was so weird. He'd like... He had a hammock that he would lay on in his little, like... So he was one of those teachers that oh, yeah. was like, call me by my first yeah. name. Yeah. I went in early to get help before this really big test that I had to get a certain grade on. 
yeah. to get a B in this class. And he was like, oh, I'm busy, blah, 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 blah. And what? I just, like, broke down into tears. Broke. And, and he, then he felt bad and he helped me. But he was, like, like trying to, like, get out of helping me. After he what offered After ass. he told me he would, yeah. And I, I was just, ah. And I ended up getting, like, exactly what I needed. He probably did it because he felt bad. I ended up getting, like, an 86 on the test. Did it? I am not a math person. No. Like, so I don't know why I took freaking calculus and physics and all that. Remember when we took that computer class? <laughs> Yeah, computer science, AP and computer we were science. Like, we took AP we were computer like, science. You ready? Yeah. And we sit down. We were like, and we're like, so oh, excited. we're gonna be awesome because we love AOL. And we're looking, <laughs> and we're looking around the class, and I'm like, who are these people? I've never seen them in my life. No. Like, who are these people? They're just no. They I've were, never seen them in my life. Did you guys stay in the class? <laughs> oh my gosh, we ran so fast to drop that class oh after the first one. You guys, I remember, like, I remember having the conversation, you and me and Adam Carney. Yes. Because we all three were in this class and we, like, sat together and we were like, okay, we all take work study. Mm-hmm. We leave after this class, mm-hmm. which gets out at, like, 1.15. Mm-hmm. If we drop this class, we can leave at, like, 11.45. <laughs> yeah. Why are we in this class? Why are we here? Oh because gosh. we like DOL and computers. Exactly. You guys, I signed up for AP English senior year and I dropped it off the first day because they wanted us to write a poem and I'm like, or analyze a poem or something something no. I was like I hate poetry hey, Mr. Milliken I love Mr. Milliken oh Mr. Oh, Milliken he he's was my favorite one of if my you favorites. girls go to Dana's Grill and bring me back two hot dogs <laughs> remember the card I gave him <laughs> guess who's pregnant yeah. <laughs> I gave my teacher a card that said guess who's pregnant now that I have your attention <laughs> well I probably need to wrap it up all right so let's wrap, wrap up. up the all right that was fun that was fun right. we'll have to have you on when you get that tape yeah Yes. We'll listen to that yes, we certainly will. That'll be Thanks fun. Thanks for having me, guys. What do you think about the... Okay, so first, I'm going to ask you this question. Okay. Who is your favorite New Kids on the Block member? Did you like New Kids on the Block at all? Um, I can kind of answer that for you. What? You did not. I don't think I didn't... Yeah, I mean, I wasn't... I didn't dislike them back at, at that point in time, but I wasn't, like, into them either. I was very into them yeah. when we were friends. Yeah. And I remember you were very much like, meh. Well, I think by that time, yeah. And we didn't mention that you had a pretty awesome Vanilla Ice poster and your dad met him and got an autograph. And I was so jealous. Sure did. (laughs) What's what's his name? Rob Van Van Winkle. Winkle. He follows us on Twitter. Yes, he does. No way. Well, Rob, my dad met you. and uh, He was like, I saw ice. And yeah, my dad's an ice man, and you were the ice ice baby, so uh, <laughs> I was a fan. Um, yeah, I mean, new kids, meh, whatever, you know. I just, I wasn't really into music that much. I mean, I don't yeah. know. Other than, like I said, like, Tiffany, the bang, oh, I loved the bangles. God, I loved his strong flame. I'd go down to Jen. You've got mail. House, and her dad had a pretty impressive CD collection, and I would always pop in Eternal Flame, and Jen would roll her eyes at me, and I would sing it. It's a beautiful yeah, song. It's a beautiful song. I might have to go home and lay on the floor and listen to it. <laughs> Think about Days of Yore. Oh, you're too funny. Any other questions for Erica? Do you have any questions oh, for me, Brookie? No. What we need to do is find out, because Jill had that idea. Yes, that's right. So we so, don't know what questions we want to ask Erica. Right. So we didn't even talk about that. No. Oh, go yeah, for it. that's right. So Jill, um, hey Jill. Hey, Jill. I had hey a suggestion Jill. that when we have people on, we ask them, like, the same, like, five questions. Which I think is an amazing it's idea. It's a great idea. We just don't know what questions people want to hear. Right. So give us, there would be five questions we would ask every single every guest. Every single guest. So, like, send them in to us, your ideas. And then going forward, like, in the future, we can do that. So next time Erica's on, we'll ask her those five questions. Right. Wait, are we leaving? Yep. Yeah. Right. We gotta say it. Bye. No, we can't do that because guess right. who does that? My favorite murder. I thought they do. Yes. Oh, so we do. We've Let's do that. Let's. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Let's do that. We gotta come up with a different one. Bye. 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 <laughs> no. Bye. Bye. That's no. Don't do that either. I did on the last one. Bye. 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 There we do. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye. Okay. Do you like that? Yeah, that's fine. Okay.